It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Thanks for joining us, folks. You know, I was born and raised in a little town called Partiesville. It's in Hazel Township. And I want to just go back a little bit and tell you about the, uh, the town I grew up in. Uh, we would get up on Sunday mornings and everyone would be walking to their various churches and families got together and there was no cars that you'd be driving to, to church. It would be an opportunity for you to speak to your neighbors and we never locked the doors. I grew up in a town, I had the pleasure of, of, of growing up with Slovak people, Polish people, Lithuanian people, Irish people, and we, we never knew about nationalities other than getting along and working together. Towns are so very important in development and I'm sure you could go back and think about the towns you grew up in and how important it was. Uh, I'm in Pottsville, Pennsylvania today. I've been here uh, on Comcast <clears throat> since 1999. And I think every town is important. So today's show, uh, we have 12-volt uh, Dave Clues, who is running for mayor of Pottsville. And uh, Dave, thanks for coming on the show. It's interesting. I know you many, many years. I'm reminiscing a little bit about the towns that I grew up in and how important it was for us to appreciate what we could do. Everyone helped each other. There was no personal agendas. When someone got a, a, a car, we congratulate them. There was no jealousy, no envy. And the town grew. And, and uh, you know, I was very proud to say that I was born and raised in Partiesville. Okay. You've been a native of this town for many times, many, many years. Um, so your feeling about a town and the development about the Pottsville? You know, Sam, I, I am born and raised here in Pottsville. Uh, and like you, I, I grew up in that kind of neighborhood. In fact, I'm fortunate enough that I still live in that kind of neighborhood. Uh, you know, my, I'm back in actually my old homestead. And uh, I can honestly say a lot of my neighborhood is the same as uh, when I had left it 35 years ago uh, and came back, always visited, I've always been close by and always been in the Pottsville business community. So, uh, you know, I, I still have those values and, and remember those days. I, I had to kind of grin a little when you said about, you know, the neighbor getting a new car. Uh, I remember the first time my father did very well, you know, very well. All the neighbors coming out to look at it and see it and wish him well. Uh, you know, that, that, kind of, that kind of value and respect, uh, you know, that's what I grew up with. And then think, uh, you know, I think we're seeing some of it again today. I think it's here in Pottsville, and I sure hope to, uh, you know, carry that kind of forward. I've been, working, I've been working here for many years, as I said, and you've been involved in a lot of things in the town. And um, I, the thing that I see um, is that when people are working together and there's, there's nobody bringing a personal agenda, and I think that's been the destruction of the country where political parties have their own agenda and once they get in, they just do what they want to do and it's like not thinking about the public. Your involvement, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's an open book for many, many years. Why did you, th I mean, you, you're very popular, You've, you know, you're running the, uh, the cruise, you're doing this, you, you've always been there, okay, uh, with the business leaders, so, so why, you know, and you went through some tough times, personally. Just a few. Yeah, I mean, so, and you survived, I mean, you're continuing on. Why then, you know, did you decide, well, I think I'll be a, become the mayor of Pottsville. What did you see? I, I've seen the next generation taking an interest in our town. Uh, I think some of them grew up on the tail end of, uh, I'll say, what, what we grew up with as far as neighborhoods are and are starting to see it again. I know when I visit my uh, grandsons and grandchildren, I, I get to uh, see that interaction amongst the neighborhood and kind of think back to myself growing up and, uh, you know, ra rarely walking on the sidewalk in my neighborhood, being able to run down the center of the street uh, to the local playground and, you know, meet my buddies and friends and, you know, wave to the neighbors whose grass I cut or snow I shoveled. Yeah. And, uh, you know, be, be in a neighborhood. And I, and I see that again here in Pottsville. I see a bunch of young entrepreneurs realizing, you know, what a special place this can be. Uh, 
I, I'm not political by any means. Uh, you know, I'm of course, you know, registered to a party, but uh, I, I'm, I'm more of, uh, you know, a Pottsville son I'd like to consider myself than, than a politician running to be mayor. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I bring an enthusiasm and a belief in my town. Uh, <clears throat> I, I like the idea of, of neighborhoods. Uh, when, when you have one, they, they tend to infectiously grow and, and typically a good, connect, uh, a good direction. And, uh, you know, we see our neighbors uh, cut their grass or, or paint the railings in front and, you know, want to look as good and, uh, you know, are reminded that... Uh, uh, there's there's values to be to be had looking at the town of Pottsville okay in terms of what you would like to do or continue to do what you've done what are some of the areas that you feel um, you could help make Pottsville grow because I got to tell you um, I've had I just love the town of Pottsville it's been very good to us Samson Productions over the last year, we have like over $60,000 invested in this town via our cable system, uh, you know, and sponsorships, etc. But we came through the lasting legacy in the bicentennial. I work with um, Mayor Riley, who I think is a fantastic person. <clears throat> There's a man, he and his son had the heart of Pottsville, and they did very well. There wasn't any, at least I never saw any a political agenda. Uh, so, what do you want to bring to the table? The same kind of working together spirit. Uh, I've been fortunate for the last two years to be on city council. Uh, been the m m minority guy out, but uh, have worked very effectively, I, I feel, with you know, all my fellow city councilmen, even the mayor. Jim and I go back years. Uh, we've managed to, you know, we, we play the politics back and forth with a smile, but we've also worked together and, and ultimately, I think, have the same goal, and that's, you know, improving our town. Uh, I think the difference between me and, and you know, and Jim, if anything, uh, and I'd be hard-pressed to find it because we both really love our, our city, uh, I, I'm just... Uh, I just bring a new enthusiasm. I think I look at it a little differently. Uh, I, I want to I actually meet in neighborhoods, and I, I don't want to meet in a building uh, or, you know, or some official city location. I'm talking about pulling up on a neighborhood corner with my car and standing there and let's just talk. Uh, you know, may not always be effective, but you know, if, if somebody's there listening and people see neighborhoods coming together again, I think again, long term, the infection starts to happen, and when people are around others that believe in what's going on, positive things will occur. Where do you think we need improvements? Well, you know, everybody always talks about street conditions, and you know, I'd be the first to say I've hit some potholes that uh, made me cringe. Uh, I. I think we do a pretty good job at trying to maintain that the best we can. I'd like to organize a little farther. Uh, learned over the years you can always steal ideas from others and uh, I know a, a local community that they actually have like a several year plan and when someone calls and says hey we've got this problem on the streets they can at least tell them when that area is scheduled for service. Uh, right now we try and take care of them as they come and I know there's even you know some planning that goes on there but I'd like to you know maybe take it a little farther and actually zone it get together with the street department management and you know drive through the town and and list our priorities uh, <clears throat> I think we have a good police force I'd like to see it stronger uh, they you know we have a, a pretty safe town here but I think we can. I think we can do more, and uh, you know, it's finding sometimes the uh, the funds and, and ways to make that happen that are tough. But uh, those are two of the things in our town. I think uh, we can work on and even get better. Do you have any specific plans? Okay, I mean, so in other words, you know, we could all talk about you know apple pie, motherhood, parenthood, and all the stuff. And I like to see, you know, the whole world get together and hug each other, etc. But, you know, you know, being the businessman that you are, and you didn't become successful because you don't know what you're doing. Um, do you have, you know, you, ha I, I, you know, like, you have a specific plan 
that you know the people in Pottsville would say, look, I, I think we should go in that direction. We should give Dave, 12 vote Dave Clues a vote to see what happens, okay? And with all due respect, this is constructive. It has nothing to do with personalities, etc. But sometimes there's good doctors and bad doctors. It doesn't mean the bad doctor you don't like, but you just don't go to the bad doctor, okay? Um, what, what specifically do you see that, that you see it's hitting you in the face that you know the community needs, town, the Pottsville needs? Boy, that, that's, a, that's a pretty big list. No, I, I wouldn't say it's as much a list. I, I think it's uh, a belief uh, in our town. There, there's still a lot of doubt. A lot of people always like to look at it negatively. Uh, you know, parking is always something that comes up about the future success of Pottsville. And to have a plan for it, uh, I don't think you actually can in the case of that one because there's either not enough spaces or there's too many spaces or it costs too much to park. Uh, my, my plan is more business. Is, you know, we have to look at it. We're running a business. You know, we're running the city. The city is a business. It costs money to do things that, and create the services that people want. And I think I look at that maybe a little more hardcore than others because uh, I don't bring the politics into it. That's I, the key. I, I certainly wouldn't put a person in a job at my business because he was, you know, the right party, the right relative, exactly. the right, uh, yeah. you know, associate supporter because long term that doesn't benefit my business. And uh, I, I think that's the same way we got to look and run our city. When you're looking at um, Pottsville, I'm, I'm parked out here in front of the, uh, this brewery, and you know you, you had to feed the quarters, okay? Mm -hmm. But let's say I want to come in this place and I want to have lunch, or I want to, uh, you know, I'm running a little late, okay? And then boom, you go out there and you get hit with a, you know, a parking ticket, okay? And then say, well, it's you know, not that you don't need parking meters. But the point is, uh, you're trying to attract people to come into your town. You're trying to attract them to go into businesses. Parking is always a situation, a concern. Uh, and I think that's something that should be addressed. But sometimes, you, you know, if someone comes here in this place of business, and it's a fabulous place, and they go out and then, boy, here I am, you know, I just, I put the dollar, two dollars in the, you know, and I get a ticket, I'm not coming here anymore, okay? I mean, so, you live with that. Then you need revenue. So how do you balance those two things, Dave? That's the key. It, it, it really is. Uh, you know, and a lot of people just see it as, oh, they gave me a ticket. Uh, <clears throat> I, I know uh, we've been back and forth. You know, recently we went to, uh, we have a combination here of both parking meter and app uh, parking situations. And we have tried to work with the parking authority. I'm also president of the local business association. So uh, ever since that was put in place, we've continued to try to work back and forth with the parking authority uh, and our businesses. So it, there's, a, there's an understanding of the two together that uh, you know, if we're feuding, that doesn't work. Uh, when, we're, when we're all trying to make our customers happy, I, I know that, you know, the enforcement people are trying to be as correct as possible, but have a job to do too. Uh, so that, that's a really tough line to walk. And as long as we both understand that our ultimate goal is having customers come to Pottsville and want to come back to Pottsville, it works. There's always going to be somebody you don't make happy. Uh, but as long as everybody has that same goal in mind, it's as good as it gets when it comes to parking. You, you know, uh, as well as I do in business, creative thinking is, is very important. And I, th yeah, I mean, and I think that when you're looking at how do you solve some of these problems and protect the businesses here, because there's, like you said, there's a lot of young entrepreneurs right here. The, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Weaver's, Bob the Weaver's place here is doing, you know, fabulous. And they, got a, 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 they made a lot of tremendous investment in this building. Uh, and it's good for the town, okay? The town's not falling apart, okay? Uh, and I want to come back after break. I want to address some of those issues, okay, as to the direction we're going into. Folks, I'm talking to 12-vote Dave Clues. Uh, he's running for mayor in Pottsville. 
I opened the show talking about how important towns were. And I remember me being born and raised in the little town of Pardeesville, which is right across this, uh, the area where my friend Jack Palance lived. It used to be called Latimer Number no. 1, Latimer Number no. 2, which was changed to Pardeesville. But the development and learning uh, how to deal with people and forgetting about personal agendas. That has been the destruction, my friends, in this country today. We're polarized and we don't look at the other side and say, how could we work together? We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Sam LaSancho, folks, 24-7, SSPTV.com, uh, YouTube channel. For those of you who don't have cable, we're here on Comcast 190 in Pottsville, and of course, Channel 92 in Wilkes-Barre, uh, cable system in Channel 13 and 513 in the greater Hazleton area. I want to thank those people who are sending some uh, emails, good comments. Uh, I'm here today in Pottsville, and I'm talking to 12-volt Dave Clues, no stranger to anyone in, in Pottsville. And uh, Dave is running for mayor in Pottsville. As we continue on and look at, you know, as saying, uh, vote, we always say, vote for the person. Unfortunately, sometimes people don't know the person, so they rely on a party to tell them how to vote. And I can understand that to a degree. We're on television today and trying to let people know what about this person who's going to be the mayor. I don't care whether you have long hair, short hair, no hair, beards, etc. Uh, I still like to cut your hair on I hair. Know, and I there's, know. And there's, <laughs> there's a good reason for the hair. But anyway, uh, I know you, okay? I know you for many, many years, okay? And I know the character you are. Uh, I don't know the other politicians as well as I know you. But, you know, you've developed um, a good business. And I think you see some things in the town of Pottsville, and I don't want to be redundant, but for the, for the person who's going to vote, and if, thank God, they're not going to be told how to vote, and that's the, that's the reason why we have what we have in this country today, Dave. We have the cliques. We have, you know, the, you know, got to vote Democrat. You got to vote Republican. That's nonsense to me. Total nonsense. Your thoughts about, you know, the town of Pottsville and what you're going to do for this town? Well... You know, I, as I've said many times, I'm born and raised here. Uh, I, I, I bring a new energy, a different kind of belief, uh, a more personal contact, I think, than uh, we presently see. Uh, I hope to get into, like I told you earlier, every neighborhood from you know, east side to west side, north to south. Uh, I'm fortunate because I work retail that uh, I get to interact with so many different levels in, of society and people, uh, you know, from the guy who rolls in in the Mercedes to the guy who rolls in with the old hoopty. Um, managed to connect with all of them, I think, and that's why uh, I'm still in business for 20 years. Uh, I hope to bring that same experience and, and openness to the city of Pottsville. Uh, you know, I went all through school here in the school district, uh, been involved in the fire department since I was 21. In fact, some companies tried to smuggle me in before I was old enough. But, uh, you know, I, I've, I've learned to you know, work with all those different people and, and think that they all, they all share a part in the success of Pottsville. Uh, they, they've all shared a part in making me successful in Pottsville and affecting how I've grown up. Um, and I think the, the most I can do is kind of give that back to my city is, uh, you know, you, you mentioned some of my hard times and, uh, you know, for a long time I was asked, you know, why don't you run for something in the city? And I didn't. I lived outside of it, but my business was here. And now I'm back here and can kind of look up and say, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to share more of me with my town and uh, listen to my town and run it like a business. Uh, I don't worry about the politics of it. I don't think any of us should. Uh, I believe that you vote for the person, uh, not the party. And uh, that, that's, that's what I want to bring, Sam. Uh, my business experience 
and my sheer passion and belief in Pottsville and all its people. I've been doing shows since 1984. Um, this is well over my 5,000th show. Uh, and I, before TV. Yeah, before TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I've interviewed so many politicians. And, and you know, when we say politicians, uh, I don't think we should, you know, uh, a friend of mine told me many years ago, good politicians make for good government. The word is good, and they have sincerity, and they have the people's interest. And like sometimes, you know, they, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? Well, if he gets in, I got a job, he has a job, she has a job, this has a job. And what about their qualifications? You may, have, you may have a good friend. I know when I was the chairman of the board of the college, there was good friends, but they didn't qualify, and they were mad because I didn't give them the job. They didn't meet the qualifications, okay? And how do you feel? You know, that's what you're, you're faced with, okay? Now, it's great if you have a friend who's qualified, and you know that person's qualified, then it's a whole different ballgame. But just because he's a friend, is your, you, know, you, you know, what are your thoughts about that? Oh, I, I have, you know, real strong feelings being a businessman about uh, you know friend, friends in positions uh, it, you know it, it might be nice but it's certainly not business effective and certainly usually doesn't lead to success uh, plus it opens a door that I don't even like to hear open uh, you know he has that job because she yeah. has that job because mm -hmm. uh, the only because it should follow is because they're qualified uh, they're the person for the job. Uh, I love my son dearly, but I would not have him work for me. Uh, he, you know, he's less than mechanical and can't even figure out how to clean his own car, let alone <laughs> you know, take care of one. He loves his I son. Say, I know. I, he I do. I love him dearly, yeah. but and he worked for me for a summer while yeah. he was there for me for a summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, my point is that even at that level of connection. I, I couldn't have him in my business because it's just not for him. It, he's not qualified for it. Uh, so I, I, I would want my city running the same way. I want to know that when I walk out that front door, and maybe I'm taking a day off to go fishing, that the staff that's sitting there mm -hmm. has that's got capable. me covered, is, has the same belief in the city that I do, not there because whatever the connection might be. Sometimes um, you get to a position and, um, and you have people that you trust, but the point is because you delegate a power or a position, doesn't mean it eliminates your position. So sometimes people take over uh, and that person was not elected person, the mayor was elected person. So now what happens is, how do you keep control as to making sure this is my goal? This is why people voted for me to be the mayor of Pottsville. You know, separating that and then moving this town forward. That's a task. Oh, absolutely. And I think, I think you can establish that and need to establish that early on. If you're the new team leader, you have to tell the team what you expect and and how you will deal with it. You know, I, I'm fortunate that during my career I've had several years working in a very large corporation. And one of the, one of the things that I can, you know, say I learned over the years was how, how to move somebody through their job, either directing them to become a better employee mm -hmm. or having them shake my hand when I say it's time to go, you know. You, you give them some direction, you let them know when they're off the course, and when they get too far off the course, you have to let them wander, wander off someplace else. Uh, I think that's how, how you can make a team work, because once, once they see how you're leading, if they buy into it and want to be a part, yeah. the success just continues to grow. Why would someone want to vote for 12 vote Dave Clues for mayor of Pottsville? Ah, uh, boy, I, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm usually not real good. You know, I'm, I'm always usually promoting somebody else, promoting so tell me. me you tell know. me what I know, and you're, you, know, you, you don't like to come up. But the point is, why should someone vote for Dave, 12 vote Dave Clues for mayor of Pottsville? I bring a new energy. 
I don't bring a whole lot of political baggage, if any. I'm smart enough to know that everybody around me within the county and our state representatives and our Washington representative are all of the same party. I've also made it known to all of them at some point I'll have a project and I'm reaching in their pocket. That's as political as I get. Yeah. So my, not, my non-political view, my energy for the city, a new energy. Uh, you know, we turn council over every four years in, some, in a lot of the seats. Uh, same with mayor. Uh, Jim's been here for 12 years now. Uh, st still leading the city. I'm the new guy. I bring the new energy. I've watched my business community grow. I've helped and promoted because I have the unique position where I sit on city council and I'm also president of the business association. Mm -hmm. So I kind of bridge two worlds there, mm -hmm. along with being on the PADCO board who does other you know, investment and development in the city. I have a unique take and, and line of information that will help me and guide in our city forward. And that's why you should vote for 12 volt Dave Clues. Well, I, as I wish all politicians, people who are running for office, it's a challenge. I wish you the very best of luck. Thanks, okay. Sam. Okay. Uh, folks, uh, interviewing 12 volt Dave Clues. He's running for mayor in Pottsville. Uh, I love this town. I've been here since 1999, work with a lot of great people, hopefully continue to work with a lot of people. Uh, we're on, we used to be on Channel 7, now we're on Channel 190. Uh, every day from 7 to 11 p.m. So whatever you do, uh, please vote. I mean, I know some of you are discouraged what's going on in this country today with voting, etc. Uh, I'm hoping that everything will be up and up uh, and praying for that. Vote for the person, my friend. Don't let any political party tell you what to do. And don't listen to, well, you got to be a Democrat or Republican. It's nonsense. We're going down the tubes. We're going in that direction. Thank you. We'll see you next time.